Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today we're going to be taking a look at a rebuildable atomizer out of Switzerland from those fabulous guys at Stackquam, and that is the Squape Extreme. Now the majority of you will have heard of Stackquam, the majority of you would have owned atomizers from Stackquam. They came out originally with the Squape, then the Squape Reloaded, and then they had sort of the mini down convinced Squape Reloaded, the Squape RS, and now we have the Extreme. And of course, like all their products before them, it's made from quality materials. I mean, the Scrape Extreme, made from 316 grade stainless steel. We have adjustable airflow now. Um, we've got bor borosilicate glass in there for the tank. Um, and, and now they've made some, uh, well, they've still got that uh, that deck with that aluminium e-metal coating, that non-conductive coating, so you won't get any shortage, uh, shortages, which they are uh, made quite famous for. But we've got some extras on this now. And, um, you know, a couple of bits as well that I think are really, really good and, and quite innovative, really, that could actually uh, move some some elements of rebuildable tanks into the next level, um, which I think are, are great. Um, now, it does look like a scrape, and it's still as big as shit as uh, the majority of, of, of the original two scrapes that came out before this until they condensed the uh, reloaded into the RS. Um, they also brought out nano kits for the original reloaded and then the RS. Um, but you will be pleased to know that they do plan to have a nano kit for this. Well, at the moment, you know, in full size, I think it's around 55 mil, um, not including the drip tip that comes with it. And it does hold four mil of juice, but I do believe they're gonna bring out a, a nano kit which will hold two mil of juice, which is good for me because uh, I do like them um, a little bit smaller. Uh, Freudian slip um, but yeah but I mean if you uh, you know if, if you don't mind the size of this then obviously it's going to hold a lot more juice and uh, keep you vaping before you have to fill it but one of the great things about this which I really do love and I'll get in, into that more uh, on the close-up but this now doesn't have a threaded deck okay um, it's got like a locking system which I think is is really unique and uh, it works really really well on this okay um, now we've got sort of three locks that go around the bottom of this deck here and basically you twist one way to vape you then twist to the middle and the tank comes off and another great thing about this is no juice comes out of that tank when it's off I mean you fill this up I mean and to fill it as well you can fill it with the tank off of the deck itself so you've got a top threaded top cap here remove that fill away thread your top cap back on like so if I can fucking do it there you go push down and lock and then open it up and vape Bloody brilliant, really. Yeah, so it's basically one way to vape. Click it central, and then you can just take the tank off, and then you click the furthest way, and it's completely sealed off. Can't vape on it. No juices get into that coil. Nothing. It's completely sealed. So if you want to carry it around in your pocket or anything like that, and you know, just want to stop any leaking or any problems, you can just close it off, and then two clicks back, and then you vape again. I think that's great, personally. Um, in the deck itself now, you've got two uh, two posts, basically gold-plated posts with uh, wick holes of 2.2 mil diameter. Um, and, and you kind of build it, because you can build this single and dual coil. I mean, usually their sort of, um, their original scrapes were designed for single coil building. And then you also got replaceable decks, which you will eventually get for this as well. But at the moment with the standard deck that's in there, you can build single coil or a dual coil. And it's kind of like a dripper as well. You sort of, you sort of, you've got these four little channels. Um, you cover it in uh, cotton and then basically uh, like, like have the entire deck sort of filled with cotton and then the tank sits on top, uh, on top. So it's kind of like an RDA with a tank sitting on top. It gives a great flavour, um, as you would expect. It does vape like a scrape. It could have been their uh, advertising logo, you see? You know, I should be on the payroll, guys. It vapes like a scrape. So, uh, yeah, I mean... Um, 
really happy with it. I, th I, th I think it's a, a really good innovative idea with that locking system. There's no thread in there. I love the way to fill this. It's probably my favourite tank so far to date for filling. I mean, it's that bloody easy. I mean, if you don't want to take the actual tank off and fill it, then basically I suggest locking it first, then filling it, because it can actually get a little bit flooded if it's opened up and you just remove the top cap and fill. So what I do is I just give it one, two little turns, take my uh, top cap threaded section off and then fill it and then one, two and vape away. You've got adjustable air, airflow. You've got sort of three horizontal holes cut into this. Um, uh, three, sorry, hor horizontal grooves cut into your uh, airflow ring. So basically you can have one for single coil and close the other two off, or you can have one either side for your dual coil. So, uh, and there's plenty of air, air hole. I think they're about three mil each. So there's there's plenty and, and you can adjust if you want to mouth to lung, or you can open fully if you want to get that direct lung inhale. So uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, really nice so before i get into any more details what i think about it price and where to get it from let's pop down to the table now let's have a look at it up close um i mean todd todd reviewed this the other day um and he put a dual coil in it uh, i'm going to stick a single coil in it and uh you know just to be a little bit different and uh then we'll come back and we'll give it a bloody good vaping safe so here you have your Scrape Extreme as it comes to you. A nice little box here. You do actually get like a little slip case with it, but it was different to the one I've got than the ones that uh, you'll get as a production model. So there's no point showing you that. But yeah, open up the little box. You're greeted by a nice little pack with a load of O-rings and some spare screws, which is always good. You're also given a little assembly guide here because uh, it doesn't come fully assembled. You do need to put one piece on. It's particularly easy. So I'll show you that in a minute. And you also get a little user manual as well. Very detailed as always. So that's uh, a nice little bit of reading for you. In the box itself, you get your Scrape Extreme. You get this top section here, um, which goes on top of your deck, which is made from that same aluminium with the e-metal coating as well. Uh, so it's non-conductive. And you also get a spare tank as well. So that's pretty cool. So uh, let's get a closer look at the Scrape Extreme itself. So here you have your Scrape Extreme. 22 mil in diameter, around 54.5 mil in height, not including the drip tip. Nice brushed finish there. You've got that signature stack qualm sort of window effect going on. So you can see your juice, uh, sort of a different layout this time. Really starting to, uh, to light them. Standard 510 drip tip, so you can put whatever drip tip you like on there, you know, if you're not a fan of stainless steel like me. Also get an adjustable gold-plated 510 there. Serialised, I mean, this is at, there's five zeros there because they're meant for reviewers, but yours will come serialised. Adjustable airflow ring here. We've got, uh, it accommodates single or dual coiling, and you can also close one off for single builds as well. So they're three mil horizontal. You can have them fully open or close them, depending on how you like to vape. And then you have this top section here, which I really do like as well. I think this is great. Now, the top section, you've got these two little grooves for your fingers. Threaded, just take it off and you can feel that way. Holes cut out there to accommodate most size bottle nibs, which is really good indeed, so you won't be struggling to fill or reaching for a needle or, a, or anything like that. So uh, really nice to feel there, and uh, nice, nice clean threads as well, really nice and smooth. Then we get to the deck. So to remove the deck, as I said, it's not threaded. We have a sort of a three tier locking system now. At the moment, it's set to vape. We just give it one turn, and pull, and your deck comes out. Really nice indeed. Uh, now before I should get back to this locking system, let's just have a little look at the deck. So once again, you've got that e-metal coating there, so it's non-conductive, so you won't get any shorting. You've got your two posts here, they're gold plated as well, with holes to accommodate up to 2.2 mil as well. So basically you put your coil in, or your dual coil, fill the, the cotton at the bottom. You've got these four holes here. You'll need to cover them with your cotton. Or if you're basically just doing a single coil, 
put your coil there with your cotton and then you just place another piece of cotton over there to cover those holes not too much cotton not too thick so it's smashed in there but enough cotton so that you can soak up that juice so it wicks nicely now getting back to that locking method again so to say so you've built there and you just want to put that back in decks in and then you would turn once you'll hear that click and that's on closed you will turn again if you want to remove that deck or you turn once again with a click to vape it is that simple one click to remove one click to close and all the way over to vape really nice and simple there this piece that we're given as well sits on top and basically it's like a one-time deal with this you'll build your deck put that on the top like so place in and then turn that should stay in there now that basically that will close off one of the airflow holes as you can see we're on the closed function now so let's have a look there because it's closed off so basically no juice will be getting to that deck or anything like that you can see all the way around that that is covering all those holes inside there open it up and now those holes, holes are open so that's basically the purpose of that section and when you remove your deck for the first time after you've put that in you'll notice that that piece stays in there you can remove it there's little grooves in there so basically if you want to remove it just get yourself a little screwdriver and just pull it out and it'll easily come out and once again easy to put back in that's in there now so we go so uh that's pretty much all we need to do for that for the moment now uh let's just quick put a little quick build in and uh, see how she vapes so i've just put a single coil build in this i've used um nine wraps of ssv ti wire um and, and i've decided to go central through the posts here on a single coil build you can actually build a single coil on either side um just make sure that you put an extra piece of cotton in the opposite side to be able to feed those channels there um and yeah with this way you can actually just use both tail ends to feed both sides of the deck there so it does make it a little bit simpler and um, you can also have both airflow control um, slots open up as well if you want more airflow on a single coil so you know that's that's quite quite a nice touch anyway I'll just feed your cotton through just give them a little bit that's it snip one end off make sure you're nice and fluffed up and then proceed just to poke those ends down just in front of those holes there remember use quite a bit of cotton don't smash it down but use quite a bit so that it gets nice and saturated and stop any of that seeping that um, that I had to begin with. That's pretty much done. Let's give it a bit of a saturation there. you are good to go take your tank and like I said you don't need to have this tank on the deck just take off your top cap give it a little feel put it on a little twist to vape and you're good to go.
Nice and simple, really easy, great flavour off the bat. That's the uh, Scrape Extreme. So there you had the Scrape Extreme. Um, now, Todd recently reviewed this, did a really good review, um, and I, I agree with uh, with everything he kind of said in his review. Um, and he broke it all down for you. I didn't do that for you. I didn't need you didn't need two reviews with it being broken down. And he took it all apart. You can actually take the majority of this apart, okay? Whether it's for cleaning, changing that uh, glass tank, or or whatever. So uh, go and check Todd's out as well. You know, like he says, never get one opinion on it. Now, I I really like this atomizer, I think it's great. For me personally, it's too bloody tall, um, straight away, and uh, Chris from Statcrom knows that, I've had lots of chats with him, really nice guys, and he knows how I feel about these fucking gigantic atomizers. But if, you know, it does hold four mil capacity, so if you don't mind the fact that it's the size of a building, then uh, it holds four mil capacity, and you, you know, you don't really have to, to fill it up twice, maybe three times a day. However, you know, even if you do get the nano tank on it, it is so easy to fill this that that's not going to be a problem for me. You know, the filling method on this is just, I love it. I think it's its brilliant. You know, the fact that you could either close it off um, so no juice will get to that, that coil at all and then just take the top off and fill really nice and easy. You've got those big holes in there to cater for any size bottle that you're using. You don't have to be using little fucking needles or whatever. L plenty of room in there to fill. And also, you know, if you want to just take it off the deck, you know, really easy. You don't have to worry about holding it upside down. You don't have to worry about putting it down in case you knock your table like a an idiot which I do all the time and your juice spills out. You can hold that upright and no juice will come through. It's really quite, quite cool um, to be honest, you know. The flavour on it, it's a scrape, you know what I mean? It does vape like a scrape, like I said earlier, you know, there's, um, it's, it's, it's a really good vape, you know, uh, really solid atomizers, these, never let you down, and uh, yeah, it vapes brilliantly. Now, I, I am a mouth-to-lung vapor, so that I can accommodate this with the airflow if I want for me, and you can open it up. You know, obviously, you're not going to be able to open it up to you cloud chasing guys. You want to blow the biggest clouds and stuff like that, um, but this is, you know, a flavor tank, So, but you can definitely get enough airflow in there for you lung hitters. You know, there's not a problem. You know, we've got a glass tank, really nice. Um, you get a spare one in the pack as well, which is great. You know, the quality, the brush finish, really nice indeed. Now, uh, I, there, there is that little thing for me, and it is only a niggle, and I do believe Todd said the same thing. Um, and I thought, you know, I'd put this together wrong when I first got it because of that small little sort of gap around the bottom. Well, it's not, obviously. It's to accommodate that locking mechanism for the deck. So there is that little section there. Now, when I first got it, I thought, oh, I haven't tightened this down right, or I haven't done something right. There's that little gap. But no, that is how it comes, you know. It's unfortunate it looks like that, but it's for function. So, you know, it needs to have that to accommodate that locking method. Um, but as far as looks goes, you know, initially I never really liked scrapes to begin with when they first came out. I thought they looked like a church, you know, they looked like an upside down bliss. But, you know, I've had every scrape that's come out and uh, I've kind of grown to love them. They have sort of adjusted the windows in a little way now. You know, you've got one up, one down, which I do think looks rather cool. You know, it still does look a little bit like a, a church, a belfry or something like that. But, you know, like I said, I've got used to it. It's a scrape. That's what they look like. You know, you see one of these and you know it's a fucking scrape. Um, to coil it... Really nice and easy, you know, you've got plenty of room in there. Make sure those channels are covered um, so that, you know, it wicks properly. Don't get any of that cotton inside those little holes at the bottom. Just make sure it's resting up against them and it wicks straight away, you know. You do need to put quite a bit of cotton into that deck, you know. Um, I had the first, I had, the, uh, I had that problem um, when I first got it. I wasn't putting enough cotton in there and it was seeping out a little bit of juice um, when I was basically unlocking it and closing it and taking the tank off and things like that. Little bits of juice were starting to seep out. But when I put more cotton in there to accommodate that, which uh, was recommended by Chris of Stackram, it hasn't been a problem at all. So you do need to put enough cotton in there. You know, don't smash it down in there and have it all condensed and fucking rock hard but just enough in there to soak up that juice so that you won't get any seepage coming through
Now, as I said, in the close-up, yes, you can build single, you can build dual, you can build horizontal or vertical. You know, you can have a little bit of fun with it. And they are planning as well to bring out maybe a new deck soon, which is strictly for single coil use. Um, and no doubt they'll come up with something crazier in the future with the nano kit on the way. Um, but all in all, I think it's great. I think it's a really good step in the right direction, you know, how these assays are going, especially on this filling method, especially on the fact that they're trying to stop any problems with juice getting spilt anywhere, utilizing that top section tank with no juice being able to get through so you can hold it upright or hold it upside down. It doesn't really matter. I think that is fantastic, you know. It looks like a scrape. Uh, it vapes like a scrape. But with those new sort of... Um, little bit of innovation um, brought to it with the non-threaded deck and uh, with the locking mechanisms and the fill method. I think this is a, an exceptional, exceptional tank. Now they are due to be released at the end of this month, the 23rd of April, I do believe they're going to be released. Um, Creme de Vape, or um, what, formerly known as Cloud9, are going to have them, and no doubt some other vendors, you know, uh, across across the um, the EU and whatnot. And uh, that's another great thing about the Scrape, they are, will be readily available. There's no lists, um, there's no sort of waiting times or anything like that. You'll be able to get one straight away, you know. And I believe the cost is going to be 149 euros, about 125 pounds, you know. And uh, if you're into high-end vaping and, um, you know, and you're a, you're a fan of Scrape, or even if you're not, I would recommend getting one just for the fact that it's different, um, it's quite exciting and it vapes fantastic as well and plus the fact that filling method is just fucking brilliant you know it's really quite exciting Not really much more I can say, really. That is the, um, except for, you know, I can't wait for the nano kit. It's fucking tall. Um, that's the Scrape Extreme, 316 grade stainless steel. Um, that e metal coating on the deck so you don't get any shorting. That new locking method, unthreaded. Um, that top fill capabilities where you can just take the tank off and have it upright. Um, you know, it comes with the drip tip. You know, I prefer to use my own. I'm not really into stainless steel. I keep bashing my teeth all the time with it. Um, but still, you still get a 316 grade um, uh, drip tip as well. Glass tank, you know, adjustable airflow, single or dual coiling. Gold plated posts, um, it kind of builds like a dripper, it vapes like a tank. What more do you really want, really? It's, uh, it's fantastic. So thank you very much for watching this review, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.